Hello, my warriors. Welcome to the first episode of Battletech Advanced 3062. Guys, I've installed a new mod and I want to play it with you because it is very cool. It is a very nice composition of individual parts of the, the modding community. And uh, yeah, we're going to try this out today. It is very roguelike and uh, or rogue tech like and uh, you will see if we just we just start into the game and you will see how this goes first of all we need to uh, start a new career i'm not going with iron man mode here although it is uh it, give, it gives us a big big score modifier um the reason is that um i tested it on stream already the mod here and it was a little bit unstable and i don't want my my missions to mess up so i want to have safe games i want to have actual safe games in order to uh see if i can save some of those missions by just um just saving in mission getting out loading into the mission again and hoping that it fixes itself just again a little bit buggy but uh, we will see how this goes. We're gonna go with three parts because I just want to discover the game with you. I don't need more than that. We randomize our starting max. Everything is normal, but we go with mag destruction and lethality. Uh, salvage normal, mag warrior progression normal, no rare salvage, no thank you. And I want, I definitely want equipped max here because we have a broad variety of differentiacies. And therefore I want to see what they come with and what we can do with them. Um, this is just for, you know, just convenience. This is not really for a challenge here, but I just want to dive into the mod with you and have a good time. So let's start the game. Of course, we need something like a pilot. And last time I think we were playing with a female pilot, so this time we're going to go ahead and start with a male pilot. And um, sadly, I don't have the, the mod installed that gives you the, the character portraits, but it's fine. So we're going to start with a regular just a regular Battletech character here. We need a name, of course. And that name should reflect the, the proficiency in battle. And uh, if the random name generator doesn't give us something that I find dir good directly, then I'm going to figure out something else. He looks cool, by the way. Anything else that... Or is there anybody here that I like already? Go with he, as I was saying. This guy's pretty cool. Oh, this guy too. Oh, yeah, he looks like he has a military background. Also, I like this tattoo and the beard. Nice Mohawk. Um... Well, there's, there's a bunch of people that I really like. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be our pilot. Yeah, he looks like a, like a seasoned mech warrior. Name is Firefly? No. Lawyer? Eh. Rounder? Puffin? Hitman? No. Trident? <laughs> Aquaman? Bingo, Shu, Tengu, Thrax, Beacon, uh, Bacon, Brown, Mascot, Cruz. The name is Cruz. Could be a Cruz. Yeah, he's Marcus Warner. Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Already a pretty good starting pilot. I will definitely go with a good old Betray because we get Gunnery here and then either Solaris Gladiator for more Gunnery or we could be a um, um, Merchant Guard. No, wait, which one was that? There was another one that gives you... Ah, the soldier. Um, the gunnery. So, let's make him a soldier background. Absolutely. I'm going for higher gunnery first because in the early game you obviously struggle with the pilot skills. So, multi-target first. Get that on cruise. We also have Lemonade. Wow. This guy is pretty good. But only with tactics and piloting, but still pretty good. Wow. She also has uh, some skills already. Although I have to say, sheer footing is not the one that I would go for. Um, and as you can see, we have the regular skill set here. So this is breaching shot, and this is sheer footing. We have bulwark. We have the juggernaut ability. We have sensor lock as well as master tactician. I think I'm gonna go with Wobbegong. That name is so hard to say. All right. Anyway, uh, we have also right Lemonade. Here. Pretty good starting here. Four gunnery, four guts. Very nice pilot. And I think the next pilot that I'm going to train Commander. is Roller. So it's Cruz. Cruz and the girls. <laughs> okay. Commander. Let's see. Um, also, very, very interesting to see. We have... Yeah. On, I want to scroll. We have the regular star map here. So not the full Inner Sphere star map, sadly. But the regular one. 
Um, but this is all about finding new mechs and getting equipment. And what I really like about the mod here is that we have the full-fledged mech lab that I loved so much in Rogue Tech. As you can see, we have our good old Griffin 1N here, the PPC LRM, as well as a standard engine. We have e-cooling, we have the gyro options, we have the lag modifiers uh, or the, the, the actuator modifiers, we have cockpit modifiers, we have armor and structure upgrades as well as cooling upgrades. All of that can be applied and that is so cool. So, we start obviously with the Griffin. What else do we have? A Phoenix Hawk 1K, I like to see that. That one has uh, large laser, medium lasers and small lasers. Pretty good. That's a very, very decent mech. The back armor is a bit low, but I think I'm gonna keep it for the moment. I don't want to invest too much time right now. We have an Urban Mech R90. Got too, because that thing has the PPC. Alright, and the medium lasers. That's cool. That's really cool. And we have a Spider 1V, which is uh, not great, but we can do something with it. As well as a flea with a lot of machine guns, flamers. Wait a second. What flea is that? Flamer, small lasers, two machine guns, two medium lasers. I mean, the armor is crap. But still, that's a very interesting mech and a very interesting composition that we have here. Alright. So I'd say we're gonna start by mm, uh, removing the jump jets here and getting some armor on the spider and then I think we can just have some fun the spiderling on the battlefield. I'll take all of the jump jets out of this and just armor up because that's gonna be one of my mechs that I will use for a while. We have only two medium lasers here, but the support hard point that we have in the center enables us to get another small laser on top of that. So it should be okay. Let's go to 30 here. Go to, uh, let's say, uh, 65. 70 here, 35 here, 40. What about 55 on the legs? Okay. And then 40 on the arms. I can make it 50. Uh, let me quickly think. Okay, so 40 should be enough. Now we have another ton that we could invest. And as I was saying, I want to put a small laser in there. The cool thing about the armor distribution is that it doesn't take any time. And that's very, very good. So I'll take... Yeah, I'll take one of the smalls down here. On it. And put it into the spider. That's gonna be my lance. It's gonna be spider, urban mech, phoenix hawk, and the griffin. We have a lot of long range. I don't know if I like it too much, but hey. It is what it is, and it is what we have to deal with. 70 on the legs. Make the legs sturdy. Actually, haha. <laughs> let's make the head sturdy. Alright, so 65 on the legs. Let's go with 60. That should be enough. 50 on the arms. I don't want to lose the arms because um, replacing an arm just costs a lot of time and I don't want to invest that time. Okay, here we go with just more back armor. Right. Alright, so I'll two days until we have the spider ready. What are we doing in the meantime? We are repairing the power conduits. Right. The that's the right first away. thing to get the second mech bay up and that's a very big thing to have. Sadly, this mech bay doesn't give us the option to I uh, have multiple or have to work on multiple mechs at the same time, but I think it's gonna be fine Please select the timeline. Oh Okay, the Federated Commonwealth Civil War Select the timeline the Civil War otherwise known as the FATCOM Civil War simply FCCW for short was one of the most devastating wars to take place in the inner sphere It lasted from 3062 until 3067 and destroyed hundreds of regiments from the former Federated Commonwealth States the Federated Sons and Liren Alliance. In addition, many mercenary units took part in the conflict and even the Draconis combined and the Free Worlds League were dragged into it. Other factions such as the Capellan Confederation and Clan Jade Falcon took advantage of the situation to gain territory at the expense of the two warring states. Sana.net. Ah, oh, it's nice that the source is stated here. No lasting consequences. Okay, did something change now? No. Okay. I don't know. So, here we go. Uh, we need to wait one more day until the spider is ready, and then I would say we play the first mission of the day. Hey, let's do it, guys. So, for the beginning, we're gonna play half skull because I want to see how my mechs and my um, and my mech warriors perform. So let's dive into the battle. 
play against the Canopus guys. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate because I want to get some, um, I want to get some reputation too. Ah, let's go Griffin. Let's go. Whoop Gong on the Urban Mag because she has the sensor lock ability. So if the Urby is not in range because the Urby is slow, we at least get some sensor locking going going for us. Then uh, this and then this. All right, we are ready to deploy. We have a one and a half scale, uh, how to say, strength, lance, power, and that should be way enough to destroy those enemies. However, our piloting skills are, or our gunnery and piloting, our pilot skills in general are rather low, which means that our max strength, they don't matter that much. You can have the best mech in the world if you have a pilot who doesn't know how to aim properly. And, and that's it. So it's, it's just a, an estimation of how well we do in this mission. Command interface initiated. So my first goal is to get some, to get right, some mech parts, Stay weapon properly. systems, and um, yeah, forward. upgrades. Just raw upgrades for my mechs. Full speed. Therefore, no I didn't target. really wanted to take so much time early on to, um, yeah, to to rebuild I'm my here. mechs. <laughs> little Irby. This is so fun. Hello, a little guy. It's a sub-urban mech, by the way. Uh, also, you can see, we can sprint and... Um, I don't know, you couldn't see. Um, but you have to actually um, confirm the end of a sprint because... You might have guessed it. We're able to shoot while sprinting and that's what I really like. I like to play around with evasion a lot, as in the good old book tech mod. Copy that, Commander. Gonna be a jump and brace, uh, and we only have four initiative. Oh, sorry, five initiative phases here. That we have enemy movement somewhere. I don't know what it is yet. So let's set up here in the forest. Still nothing on the sensors. How far can I jump? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Griffin has pretty good jump capability, so we can make it our. Uh, quote unquote tank and the spider's just ridiculously fast. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, we see something on the sensors now. We have no clue what it is because we have very low tactics. Uh huh. They played the reserve shenanigans with us. So it's an unknown. It says mech, but I am rather sure that it might also be a vehicle. Waiting for orders. Let's find out. Uh, I have to go in there. Okay, so here's what we do. We're gonna use the Griffin to jump around a lot. And see what we can do here. Okay, it is a panther. As you can see, our hit chance is quite garbage. But offensive push is not a thing here. We can just use the regular precision strike to get the guy off the battlefield. Which gives us higher, um, yeah, higher chance to hit. As well as pushing them back one... One turn in initiative next round. Okay, commando coming in. It's a pretty accurate commando. Man, I have four evasion. Damage minimal. Damage minimal. But it's fine. Standing by. Oh, I can actually punch this guy. Yeah, we'll do that. For the reason that I want him to be not oh. evasive anymore. He has two evasion, as you can see. And his structure is exposed. We also have the small laser, which helps us shooting into melee. And small lasers ignore evasion altogether. Or support weapons ignore Commander? that. So, large laser has a 56% chance. If I sprint it close, I have a 30% chance, but also 30% on the medium laser. So, it's a, it's a trade-off. No, it's not. Never mind. The mediums are still on the same here. Acknowledge. Ah, oh, complete miss, sadly. And also, as you can see, we have the That's evasion the still on the enemy. So by just shooting I'm them, you. they they won't you know, lose evasion. Move order received. Kirby, come on, get him. Right. Could have also sensor locked. Um, maybe I'm gonna do that next round, depending on their evasion and what they do. Okay, commander coming in, uh, shooting the Griffin again. That's a pretty dangerous commando. Two short-range missile six, a flamer and a medium laser. That's a lot. 
All right. Standing by. So I think what I want to do is... I want to punch again with the spider. That actually dealt some good damage. Engaging. Problem with that is... We lose... We lose our evasion. All right. Commander. Let's keep pushing forward and I'll take the shot. I said that I would sensor lock maybe, but a 43% TPC hit Commander. is just too good not to take, as you can see. That hit good. Got him. He's also running an SRM4 with Artemis. Ooh. And now he's running away. I'd say that worked pretty fine. Okay, instead of focusing on the same target, I want to get rid of the commando. That thing is actually, again, pretty damn scary. Okay. Waiting for orders. And we punch him again. Ha! Melee against light max is very strong. Cool. So, enemy down. I need a new target. What's gonna happen now? Uh, also, we have destroyed 50% of the enemy forces already. Yeah, the Panther is the last guy, and he's also very damaged already, which means that. Commander? Hmm. What does it mean? We're gonna attack from the side again. So I told Targeting it was open. We also have a morale system in here. As you can see, stress now. That means if we shoot him or punch him a bit more, he might give up and then we might be able to salvage his stuff. Man, this PPC. <laughs> I'm gonna do something here. I'm not shooting the PPC, but just the LRMs. Let's play some mind games with him. He's panicked now. And... Standing by. Phoenix Hawk is destabilized. Crazy. And here also... I don't want to shoot a large. Just the mediums. Come on, punch out! You just lost your main weapon. Critical hit, Commander. Panic level critical? Yes, Commander. Oh, man. All right, so I'm let's there. see if Irby can do it. Let's shoot the leg. Engaging target. We hit the leg. He's down to one health, and he should punch Sorry, out now. Hit. Yeah, great. So. Mission successful. Rookie pilot. <laughs> no morale in his bones. Cool, that was good. That was really nice. We have a little bit of money, tiny bits, and a little bit of damage. But the good thing is that we also get the panther. It was the Katana Cat. Uh, is it? No, wait. Get refit of the 10k. It's identical. Except he swaps the super hot ERPPC for a standard model. Huh. Interesting. Anything else that I need here? Alright. It might be the Commander, but it also might be just the Fusion Core for just good money. We can sell that for a bunch. And we're gonna get some random salvage anyway. So, getting the commander power, getting the flamer, getting the short range missiles. That was, uh, was uh, what I was hoping for. Really good. And some actuators. The hand actuator that gives you more melee hit chance. Pretty good. That was the first mission. I think we can go maybe a little bit higher. I need to f get a feeling for my mech warriors and my mechs in total. So, yeah, I think since we don't have to repair anything, no armor repair, that's really good. We are taking a look at the skills on the Mech Warriors and we are able to get more piloting. I like to have that. I want to get to the maximum evasion that we get here, right? Ah, the tooltip is not, yes, is not there. I'm listening. Waiting. Standing by. I'm receiving you. Gunnery. Very good. Mech warrior training complete. Yeah, I'm going to make her my tactician. Probably also getting a master tactician. Although I have to say, I'd rather have multi-target than anything else here. The sheer footing is nice, but it's... Yeah. And also, I should put her on the spider. The maximization is really good right now. Also, maximum sprint. Also, maximum melee hit. Uh, yeah, the spider is gonna be our, our punch bot. Yeah, we can do that. Make the spider our punch bot. Um, okay, next up. Next contract. We will play... What do we play? A recovery, one skull. Yeah, let's do that. Let's also go with maximum salvage and... Change those. 
I also want the PPC to hit reliably. Da -da -da. Okay, everybody is there. Perfect. Let's deploy again. It is so cool to go through the early game again and and, and see where my um like where my mechs uh, or my mech warriors go to, like how we branch out into which direction, which mechs we get as our starting mechs and, and how we go from there and which mechs we pick up to actually fulfill higher scale missions and so on and so on. So that's pretty cool. I think what I want to do is I want to get all of the early missions here on this planet and then we're going to start moving around. Command By then we should have initiated. probably a good complement of light mechs. As in 35 toners and some good engine cores to outfit them. And that's a cool thing. In this mod here, you can actually balance your mech loadouts by uh, putting a bigger or smaller engine core into the mech and um, that, putting Commander. more or less weapon systems in it. That's what I think the stock mechs in the vanilla game, Commander? they actually lack. It's a big problem. Acknowledge. Brace here. Waiting for orders. All right, Phoenix Hawk moving forward, and now we have the Griffon. Engaging jump jets. Tactics is important. If I want to stay on the long range path, and then I need more tactics to reduce the minimum range. All right, they are the blips. Unknown vehicle, unknown mech. Okay, so obviously, they tell me what it is. Mm. I thought it would be completely random. Standing by. Or not random, but you know, if you don't have enough tactics, then you won't. The game won't tell you what the enemy is that is in front of you. Hover transform. Oh my god, it's a Maxine. Um, bad. I mean, we can destroy him. He has little to no armor, but still, it is quite scary. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's see what we can do. And the PPC goes completely wild, and we didn't hit an LRM either. <laughs> no damage detected. No damage detected. In this scenario Commander? here, I would say we need the we need the yeah, sensor lock ability. All right, fifteen percent is not great. Acknowledge. I think we can afford shooting anyway. Firing. Since the Phoenix Hawk is rather cold, and we hit him twice even. All right, got some crits here. That's cool. Um, what else? There's another unknown mech. I think I want to reserve here. We're gonna take the hit from the Maxime and then sensor lock him in return. Oh, wow. Alright, in this case I'm pretty happy that I was so evasive, but hey, the Maxime just went one, one point or one hex. And that means that we can actually destroy this guy pretty easily. Commander. Even with a stomp. Why the hell not? Let's go. Spider attack! Uh, maybe it is not. Uh, it is enough. Okay. <laughs> Have a propulsion destroyed. Ooh. Okay. Down. So we completely in incapacitated the, um, the drive system. That's cool. We have a wolfhound with mediums and large lasers. Let's go ahead and kill him. But I need my... Hmm. I need my sensor lock, which is on a spider. Unfortunate. And 22% still. Alright, here's what we do. We try to go for the leg. Okay, got some hits. See, if I knock down an enemy, they have no evasion anymore. And that's good. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, though, my urban mech is not doing that much here. Up high. Uh, if he wants to keep up with the pace, he needs a bigger engine. Maybe we can find one, but you can see the problem right now. Spider attack! Let's go! Oh, it would have been so cool if we hit the leg. But hey! We have a good damage coming in. Waiting for orders. And all right, going in from here. Copy that, Maybe commander. our Irby can finish him. Only 11% chance. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Let's see what the bullfond does. That's a miss. 
Good thing is that we have a lot of armor. I don't think that he can be so accurate that he crits something. No. No, it's fine. Damage minimal. Cool. Means we can punch him again. With 70 damage. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Great. Alright, he's knocked down, he lost evasion, and he's unsettled. Minus one initiative, he's also down to one health. Commander? Oh, that is interesting, I'd say. I'm there. What about our hit chance on the carpet? We did it! We did it! We not only hit once, we hit twice and completely destroyed the cockpit. Wow. Uh, reserve, reserve, reserve. Done. The asset has been secured. And ready. that should give us a 35-ton mech with a lot of energy options, and I like it. Okay. How many parts do we really get here? How is it calculated? Is it a vanilla calculation? Uh, we get two parts. No, it's not a vanilla calculation. Um, so I think because of the destruction of the leg and the side torso, our whole overall salvage is reduced by one, which is fair. I'll take the core because I want the urban mech faster and I mean you can see that our priority salvage and the total salvage is enough to get us everything anyway. Yeah, that was a wolfhound. I wanted to say we had another mech earlier, but I think that was a panther. Panther, wolfhound, not really the same thing. But okay, that was the second mission. I'd say we make some great progress already. Big question is, how much does it cost to upgrade the engine on the urban mech? Because I want that. Definitely, I want him faster. Uh, we can remove the mediums. Probably, definitely the small laser. Probably the jump jets. If we just make it faster, we are fine. So, how fast can we make it? Or 200. And 10. So, with that, we don't need that many heats. Actually, let's drop the PPC and just go medium lasers. Oh, <gasps> I know. I know what we do. I mean, if Irby is fast now... We're gonna... We're gonna... Nah, let's do it. That just makes more sense. Yeah, this is better. Ish. <laughs> we have too many heat sinks. Uh, wait a second. Minus five, that means... This is the minimum amount of heat sinks that we need. Maybe we can do that. 210. We can drop... Two more heat sinks to keep the mech viable. Yeah, now it's not viable anymore. Okay. That means we can technically put the mediums in here. That's four medium lasers. Uh, maybe we can keep the small laser even. How more up to it more? This should be enough, honestly. And then probably something like 35 to 40. Oh, 35 is maximum already. Okay. This would be a nice urban mech, honestly. Uh, what I don't like is, though, that... Urban mechs have no hands. It shouldn't be possible. Hand actuators shouldn't be possible on an urban mech. But okay. Oh, there's another jump jet. Hmm. Hmm. Intriguing. We could either drop the small laser or we put another small laser in there. Heat management is good. Problem is, we have no small laser anymore. So, I guess what we're gonna do is we just armor up that little trash can and make it speedy and fast. So, in the early game, it is all about... It is all about um, firepower and overwhelming the enemy by just splashing. And that's for the reason that I don't like the the low hit chances. If you have a big pinpoint weapon as in a single AC-20, which is per se the better weapon than four medium lasers, I would say. Um, because it deals more raw damage to a single component and rips off uh, enemies' firepower and components and heat sinks and all of that. Um, while that's per se better, it is a hit or miss, which is a problem altogether. Uh, because you know might just done. not get anything done over four, five, six, seven turns in a row. Um, because you have very low heat chance on your on your pilot skills. Therefore, 
being able to deal at least a bit of damage by just throwing splash at the enemies is the way to go about it in my eyes. Work, if I may say so. Um, engineering. I want the mech bay. Let's build it right away. Fine. I don't have enough funds. Okay. Good. I'd just get some money then. Alright. Go. Command center. Here we go. I would say we play this year because it gives us great salvage. We're playing for the pirates though. Urban Mac is there. Everybody else too. Let's do it guys. Let's just do it. If you reserve a light mech until the final round's phase, it can act basically twice. The very last one of the round that you're in and then in the next one first, next round. That's a double hit. You can do some nice backstabbing shenanigans with that. As in, reserving completely, jumping behind the enemy, alpha striking, and before the enemy can act, you are uh, starting the next round and alpha striking again in his back, and then he's dead. Command interface initiated. Okie dokie. Let's see how fast our Urbi is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. Now we can actually keep up with the pace. And four medium lasers is absolutely nothing to sneeze at. Spider obviously is a little faster. Can we sensor lock here? We can. Okay. And here we have a tank. That tank is scary. Oh my god. So many, so many plus plus weapons. Okay. In Sabaku Kaze. And Inferno SRMs. Oh, I want to play them. Waiting for orders. I want to play Inferno SRMs so badly. Um, it's uh, pretty much moved right now. I'm gonna wait. Until I see what's coming. What? Forest fires! I love it. We have the forest fire mod in there. Alright, this mission is gonna be a tough one. First of all, the enemies have armor. Secondly, they bring some serious threats to the battlefield. Commander? I need to destroy the tank now. Staying in the open for that. Not jumping around so much is crucial here. This tank needs to be weakened as much as possible. Six. Same thing. Okay. Let's go down here. Okay, we hit him. Oh, the fire spreads. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. I am not entirely sure if I want to stay in the fire, though. It needs to go. That's the problem. Uh, let's get out of the fire. Also, out of the forest. But if we destroy the tank now, which we might be, our propulsion destroyed means that he's not mobile anymore, I think. I'm receiving you. Okay. We can take the heat. Come on, do it. But yeah, if we destroy the tank, oh, okay. then we'd break line of sight to the snipers in the outskirts. Alright. Let's see if that was the right choice. Quite exposed now. Waiting for orders. Oh, another attack. Let's I'm go. There. 55 damage times 2 against the tank. For physical attack. Oh, it's not enough. We have the core crit. Vital component destroyed, though. And I think the tank is down. Vehicle down. Whoopee! Okay, we got it. Uh, in this case, now we can reserve. Standing by. We see a wasp. Oh, it's a lot of small and small pulse lasers. Ooh, ooh. If this guy punches us, it not only deals 20 melee damage, but also all the small lasers. Another tank coming. Striker, light tank, LRM-15 and Artemis, as well as an ER medium laser. And another unknown, which is uh, Galleon, medium laser machine gun, normal. Okay. Galleons are just nasty. Because they just throw a lot of individual sources of damage at you and they just go for they just seek the the head hits 
He had pretty good hit chance here. The Striker as well as on the Wasp. I would say we deal more devastating damage against the Wasp though. I'll take that. Yeah, the PPC against the Wasp is really good. As you can see. So the single PPC hit, plus a bit of LRM Barrage, destroys almost every component on the Wasp. And the fire spreads. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get out of this somehow. I want to get the striker. Striker is going to move. Okay, let's capitalize on what we have. That is a wasp on the ground. We try to rip the legs apart. <laughs> and he's down to one. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Also unsettled. Yep. Irby. Problem is the heat. Rolling. I mean, the heat and cover, obviously. Oh! Wasp is down! Hope we can salvage that. Yet again, Galleon, not my biggest concern. And they have more enemies in the outskirts. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Reinforcements heading your are way. coming in, guys. Alright, that's good to know. My urban mech is taking a beating here. Yeah, I that Artemis, that Artemis carrier has to go because he's very accurate, and my evasion means nothing against him. Ah, oh, some backstabbing here, which is fine-ish. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's try to destroy the striker. 110, 97, 97. Um, I think I'm just shooting regularly here and I'm using the precision strike when I uh, see a weak spot here. Now we know that the um, that the side torso or side armor of the tank is oh, pretty low. Which means we're gonna follow up with the precision, precision strike damage. from the griffin. Or we destroy the galleon. Yeah. That guy gives line of sight at the moment, against my light mechs. From the outskirts, you know? So he's providing sensor locks for the guys that are all the way up there. I doubt that the striker has line of sight to my light mechs here. Yeah, only to the Phoenix Hawk, which is fine. We can still take some damage. So eliminating spotters, especially when you have enemies in the outskirts, is quite important. I'm here. Urban mech can do the stomp. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get him out of harm's way. Hopefully. <gasps> By destroying the striker. Looking good. Looking very good. Ah, but the small laser was not enough. We have another chance, though. Uh, difficult. Very difficult. Here's All what right, we do. Let's move. I have a lot of resolve. I will shoot here. Roger. Try to bring this guy down. And we got him. Okay, so no more spotters on the board. We can take our time to regroup, reconsolidate, and then engage the enemy force head on. Okay. Let's bring back the Griffin. <laughs> Engaging jump jet. Out of the fire. I mean, the fire will probably spread until or up to this spot here. Fire, by the way, if you are not common, uh, familiar with it, it generates heat if you stand in there, obviously. And at some point, it will burn the complete forest down, which means, a second, by. you can see that here. Burn forest, the tooltip down there. It's an ecological disaster, shame on you. Um, but it doesn't provide any cover anymore, only rough terrain. And, yeah, that's it. Um, ba -bong. What to do? Commander? I think I'll put my Phoenix Hawk down there. Brace. And then we're gonna wait for them to come. We also have the sensor lock ability that we can capitalize on. Reserve completely. Maybe there's something coming in completely. No. Alright. Yes, Commander. Um I'm here. Yeah. Wob gong. Move in. Roger. And lock the whatever that vehicle is. Thank you. Saracen. Saracen was SRM's and one LRM 10 plus. 
quite interesting. Yeah, I want to see if I can shoot him. Kill him. Destroy him. That is a good start. Waiting for order. That's cool that you can sprint and still fire. Especially that makes the early game especially interesting. I should have used precision strike here, honestly. But maybe I can still do it. No. All right. Herbie for the win. Herbie to the front. And we're done. Yeah, they are turn four. No, don't run away. Stay here, you fool. Shooting your nasty long-range missiles at my Griffin. That's unfair. Also, the back armor of my Griffin needs to be adjusted. As well as the Phoenix Hawk. We are quite low on that. How much evasion? Yeah, all of it. That's the answer. Waiting for orders. I want to take this guy off the field now. So we sensor lock him again. And try to destroy. Is that a griffin? It was a griffin. No, a panther. Never mind. A panther. But it's another KA. Alright, alright, alright. Build precision strike to this component. Okay, that's something. There's still stuff in the outskirts. But this was just an LRM-5, so depending on what we have there, it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, this is a complete unknown. We have no idea what that is. Okay. Um... Duh! We'll go down here and shoot him once more. All weapons committed. And we got him. Man, I wonder how many good weapon systems we can actually salvage from this here. There are a bunch of plus and double plus weapons. That was a double AC2, so I believe there's a blackjack. Commander? Yeah, that's fine for me. What we're gonna do here is preci precision striking the leg of this guy. I want more panther parts. Panthers are quite good. Unknown. Alrighty. What I like about the situation of the panther is that uh, he is running over rough terrain. Reading you. But I just realized I don't have that much. Do I have stability damage available? Let's take a look. Location Let's see how much stability damage we can actually deal against him. Ha! That made him unsteady. Perfect. And also tail damage. So I was contemplating whether or not I should use my sensor lock ability again, or just shoot him regularly, but Commander? that got the job done. I want to get the small laser on point. Okay, let's go down Location here. Confirmed. No, actually up here. And shoot him. There's no chance for lagging him, really. Let's go for headshots. Roger that. Target confirmed. All right. Important thing is that we pushed him back one more turn so that our mediums can now follow up without him being able to shoot because he's now turn two. Our mediums turn three. Standing by. Oh, we can also punch with the Phoenix Hawk. Although I would say it is better to do just that. Going in from the side again, being able to destroy the side torso and or the leg. Alright, that's solid. He's down that to one health. And he's also unsettled. Gonna make a jump. Eh, into this area. Yeah. I guess that's it. Huh. That was my bad. We stressed him out at least. But yeah, we were too hot here. I should have jumped into the water or something. I'm here. Uh, positioning of the griffin is not that easy here. Alright, that's perfect. We should be able to lag him now and then kill him. Incapacitate the pilot with his last wound. Great. Oh, Panther down. Two more enemies to kill. Pilot incapacitated. Now they have to come closer. I really wonder what they bring. I'm here. Let's reserve. 
Nothing. Okay. Um, Urban Mech. We see a wheeled APC with an LRM-5 and a machine gun as well as a Condor. Machine guns and AC-2 with precision ammunition. Okay. It has a wow, has a lot of armor. I will use Irby to destroy the vehicle here, the APC if possible. Because it's just one guy that I don't have to bother with anymore. And then we're gonna see how the game unfolds from our pinpoint weapon standpoint. Like this. Let's see, let's go. All weapons committed. The turret. I hate when that happens. Commander? Here we just go into the water and we just I'm shoot there. everything. Actually, let's try to follow up on this. Ten four. Not really. Okay. So, good thing I'm is he's here. turn two. Good thing is we have an urban mech ready to punch. Location confirmed. Or stomp. <gasps> Spreading the damage too much, guys. I'm Spider punch. Affirmative. Is the damage doubled against the vehicles? It doesn't feel like it. No, I think it was 60. And we destroyed the crew compartment. Nice. To the cockpit. One more for the rubbish bin. Mission successful. Alright. There should be a lot of good salvage on the ground. And we have five priority picks as well as 22 in total. That's amazing. That's really cool. So... That should give us that should give us a big bump in terms of our um, in terms of our battlefield performance. Panther, great, we'll take that. Small laser double plus, SRM four plus. We have a C three slave unit already. No, we're not gonna take that. Artemis. Critical effect. Mech is incapacitated. Reason is pilot killed. Uh-huh. Cannot be used with other missile TTS and enables using Artemis ammo. Is Artemis ammo available? Only... Oh, wait. We have that. Oh, God. I want that. It also... It's... Cr what? Two accuracy, 50% crit, two damage? Yes, thank you. Um... LRM or SRM? That's the question now. I'll take the Artemis to, uh, targeting system, definitely. It's gonna be so good. Also, does it give you accuracy already? How does that stack? That's insane. And how many uh, missile hard points do we have here? Only one, so we can only put one SRM-4 on this guy. Uh, we could, though, take the LRM here and... And, 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 and use the Griffin. That's accuracy plus 100% uh, crit and indirect accuracy. Huh. I like the SRMs more, I got to say. It's just a lot of damage that we can pump out. Alright, it's gonna be this. Let's see what else we get. We get the LRM 10 plus. We get the Panther now. That's a 35 ton mech, pretty good. Get both SRM 4s. Oh my god. And both Artemis ammo bins. This is super good. Let's build, guys. Let's build. We have a new mech that we can put together. And I also wonder how it comes, in which condition it comes. Um, is it going to be damaged? Or is it going to be the full mech as in vanilla and it comes with everything you... It, it comes with, basically. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the mech bay. Let's build it. And it says exclamation mark. What what's going on here? We are under tonnage. That's the problem. Is that your own only problem here? I mean, if so, holy cow! It also comes with endo steel equipped, as you can see. That takes up some slots, but reduces our weight drastically. And we can put this SRM4 plus in here. Wow, that's huge. 
Fusion Core 145. Yeah, it's the biggest one that we have right now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I want to play it like that. But it also comes with Artemis. It comes with Artemis already. Okay, it brings case. Case and ammo in the side to also. Give me one second, guys. I think we can make it better. Put it to the leg, drop the case. That's another 0 0.5 tons. And... And, 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 add another heat sink. Which we don't need. And actually add another medium laser. For good measure. And then armor up half a ton. We have four jump jets already, which I really like to keep. Five. Here. This looks like a solid mech, honestly. Okay. I mean... Heat management is okay-ish. Do we want the medium laser? I mean, we are at perfect heat management right now, and I cannot add anything else anymore that would help us, except for armor. Okay. Alright, that's quite reasonable here. Adding some more armor. Complete the armor ring up, in fact. Alright. Yeah, that's that's how I want to play it. Let's go five days of repair and we have another main mech, which means that we can drop the spider at this point already because we don't need it anymore. It has an interesting core. It's 240, but it's so oversized. Absolutely oversized. I don't know, maybe putting that into the Panther and just going with medium lasers and SRMs. That would be the better build. This is how our, our yeah, this is how we build it. But guys, we're gonna do it next time. That has been the first episode of Battletech Advanced 3062, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.